For more game gumbo, I've got my guest here, Adam Glass from Lost Age Games. We're talking spicy games, and there's a game that you've been playing a lot recently, isn't that right? Scythe from uh, yes. Stonemire Games. Yes, I, yes, I have. What's the attraction? You, you, what, 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 what's brought you into the Scythe world? Because that that game has been hot for a couple of years now, and it just never, it just never seems to die out. Uh, my wife actually is the one that got me interested in the game. She loved the art. Uh, of the game, the the, uh, the theme and the style. Uh, I can't remember the uh, the name of the artist. Jacob, uh, I believe. It is. It's you Jacob. Look here and see. But, <laughs> um, but I yeah, love. I love. I'm just artist. drawing a blank right now. What Jacob's last name is, but um, you know, one of the things Jamie said is that seeing that art and the way that the scythe art portrayed mechs that were threatening but not actually doing anything from a warlike standpoint gave him the idea for the mechanics in the game. Uh, yeah, I, I've said I I've said how I really ap appreciate the the uh, the combination of the theme and the mechanics of the game as kind of an artistic artistic thing as, as the game as a whole being a piece of art. I think it's I think it's a really great um testament to the fact that games can actually be art i love love the statement that it's making about the uh, the american style of gaming with the war gaming and right and the the minis and the plastic and and the area control and you know and then you've got this european style here and and what what perfect place to merge these things together you know turn of the century eastern europe i mean it, it's just i don't know I, I just found it to be a perfect uh combination of those things i think that's probably what drew me to the game um without you know i liked it i think without ever having actually played it because of that and and then uh having played it i, I actually do really enjoy it yeah i want to see if any of the chat crew i know in the past the chat crew has uh, has enjoyed scythe anybody out there has played scythe recently or or maybe has a as a faction that they prefer what what uh player counts have you been playing scythe at because I, I think the experience is different at different play counts uh, the first, the first uh, few times I played it, I, th I think the first time I played it, it was four. I think mean, five players, I maybe four. And then um, generally, I think around three, maybe three to four players. Uh, I've I've never played a a uh, one on one game. Okay. So, I haven't played the two player game. Steve no. says he's only played it one time, but he really enjoyed it. The top and bottom actions and the cube work for fascinating. That's the thing that hit me right away. The very first time I played it, my, my palms started getting sweaty. My heart rate started going up. And when I got home that night, I couldn't sleep because I kept thinking about how cool it was that whenever I upgraded my board, the bottom of it also upgraded. So it was like a, it was like a double reward. Yeah, right. And once I upgraded the bottom, I'm always paying attention to what other people are doing because when they took actions... I got a benefit too, and I kept thinking, man, how can I do that better? That's going to give me a chance to do even more the next game. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I, I was I was beaten pretty soundly the first time I played it. I, I think I, I came in last. So okay. I, I think I was also more fascinated by what was going on than to, to actually be able to uh, concentrate on playing the game. So, yeah. Yeah, very, very interesting. I really loved that mechanic the board and the pieces i thought was wonderful you know the red the red board is one that is very popular with people because you can constantly hit that same uh you can you can do the same action you want over and over which is all the other factions are limited you have to move your pawn right. and pick a different action but there is one faction i i, I want to say it's either the white or the yellow act the one I can't, I can't remember which one it is that's really all about uh, the game it, the game doesn't really encourage a lot of combat, but that particular faction gets as many stars as it wants to exactly. do in battles. It's yeah, exactly that's, right. that's the one that I play. Yeah. But I am not a war gamer. I don't really like area control games. I don't really like dudes on a map game. But for right. whatever reason, I love playing Saxony because yeah, that's everyone else, my favorite. everyone else is kind of pushing and pulling and pushing and pulling, and I'm just in there just 
trying to get to six stars as soon as possible. And yeah. I, I, I like that rush aspect. Jesse says he's never played the game, but he's heard and seen it. Jesse, it's, it's everywhere, so you can really find Scythe all over the place. So have you tried the solo campaign yet, Adam? No, I, 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 ha I actually have a, a copy of the game on Steam, the uh, video game version. Sure. So I can kind of scratch the itch and I can play that. Uh, but I haven't actually tried the solo uh, Atoma or there for that game yet. Yeah, the, I, I forget the name of the, the blue faction. Is that the um, is Nordic? That Saxony? I, think it, I think blue's Nordic. And then uh, I think it's, is it Nordic? I can't. Um, I. Why I'm drawing a blank right now. I wish Bradley was on the stream because Bradley knows <laughs> everything about that game. But uh, the blue faction is the one that of all the, the factions I've played. The water-based faction. Yeah, exactly. The blue one is the one that I found the hardest to play. So the cool thing about having that Steam uh, version is that I could just try different strategies and restart if I didn't like it. You know, mm -hmm. Try a new strategy, restart if I didn't like it. Uh, try different boards, try different combinations, and try to learn that blue board a little bit better with it. it um and that's what Steve says. It is the Nordic faction. He says, one time I played, the only time he played was as a water walkers. He took advantage of the mobility to spread control and run from combat. And, you know, that's that's a good strategy. But that The Steam game allows you to just set up replay, set up replay, set up replay, and I really enjoyed that. I mm. think Scythe really rewards that uh, the ability to play it over and over again and get deeper and deeper into different strategies of the game. I, I don't know if you've, it, 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 on the surface, it seems like, oh, I kind of think I know what, what I'm doing, but there, the game is a lot deeper than it looks. Right, right, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I've, uh, I've also kind of wore a hole in my Steam copy of Lords of Waterdeep too <laughs> from, play, from playing that so much, so. Uh,